Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content in particular for the woman over 40. Now, every now and then I will give you all a life update, just kind of tell you what's been going on with me. And this is definitely one of those videos. I hope you enjoyed. Um, there's a lot that's been going on, just a lot that's been going on. So if you'd like to know, or you'd like for me to tell you what's been going on and show you a little bit of footage of some stuff, uh, of what's been going on in my life, then stay tuned now. Let's get started. So this first life update is sponsored by Best Buy. So I'd like to thank Best Buy for sponsoring this portion of the video. And what does Best Buy have to do with this portion of the video? Well, Shadia and I are training for a marathon. And yes, I did say training. We have to train. It's only a 5K. It is only a 5K, but we have to train. We're going to have to walk, run, walk, run before we can run that three miles. Okay. And to help us with our training, we've been wearing our Amaze Fit Bip 5 from Best Buy. This watch is phenomenal. It's a smart watch but it's budget friendly. It's not gonna break the bank. It's very affordable. It has fantastic qualities and it has lots of great features. Now, you all know that I'm a nurse, okay? And what I love about this watch is it checks your O2 stat. You can just mash a button, wait a second, and it'll tell you what your O2 stat is when you're exercising or during your exercise, before or after, so you can compare what your O2 stat is. That is something I have not seen in a smartwatch. And I've been wearing smartwatches almost as long as I've had a smart phone. And this watch is compatible with the two major smartphones. But I love that it checks your sleep. You can, of course, change your face on your watch. I have this, oh, I can't shake my arm a bit like this. I have this really cute face that I changed today. So there are various faces you can change. I really like it. It also monitors your sleep. It'll tell you how many calories you burn once you finish your workout. You'll get to see, um, I did a little workout this morning. And when it's, you're done with your workout, well, I didn't work out, I did, I did a run a walk run and it when I finished I hit the finish button it told me about my workout how many calories I burned how far I went how long it took me to get there and everything I was that was so cute workout completed during this workout distance one point five miles average speed three point three three miles per hour workout duration 27 minutes and five seconds that was so cool i love that <sighs> okay let me go take a shower i love that you like that? I love it, yeah. That's cool. I like how it talks to you. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. I like that. It's good morning, and then it tells you, tells you what your workout was. Okay, I see you. And the first thing it does in the morning when you put it on, it says good morning with a little cup of coffee. That's like my husband saying, good morning, honey. <laughs> Without, it just, I just thought that was so, uh, that's just a nice, personal feature for me. So if you're looking for a smart watch that has great features that you can personalize, you know, you can set it to where you can get your text messages and it monitors your sleep and it monitors a lot of different things. It's very, very easy to personalize. If I can, if I can set the watch up and I set my own watch up, I didn't have to have my husband or Shadia do it this time, you definitely can do it because I am not tech savvy whatsoever. But this was really easy. I love the fact that the watch face is nice and big so it's easy to see because, okay, I wear glasses every day, all day long. Um, but I like that this watch has a really nice wide face and it comes in three colors. It came in a pink. This is, it looks like a gray. It says black, but it looks like the actual watch is black, but the band is gray and it comes with a white band. I have the gray band, Shadia has the pink band, 
So we've been working out sometimes together, sometimes apart, but we've definitely been comparing our features and our end results. So don't forget, this will make a fantastic Mother's Day gift. I have a video coming up, Mother's Day gifts under $100. This will be included on the list. The video won't be long. I'll probably have less than 15 items, but this is definitely one of the items. If I were gonna get my mother a smartwatch, this would definitely be the one I would get her. The next couple of things I want to talk about is um, me on a personal level. And I'm not gonna tell you about these, these incidences that happen to brag about myself, not at all. I just wanna, I just wanna talk to we're, we're girlfriends and just wanna talk about it. So the first incident, um, I was in that major, major store where you go to buy clothes and groceries, you know, the one that make you, they want you to check yourself out and they wanna check your receipt when you get to the door. Anyway, I had to go get some items. So I went in there and I almost never go to the self checkout because if I'm not to pay for my food, somebody's gonna ring this up for me. So I always go to the aisle where someone rings your food up. So I'm standing there and there's this lady that she's walking up in front of me. And she's a older lady, but she's not, I didn't feel like she was elderly. She, she, she wore her age very well. I could tell she was elderly because she moved a little, she moved not even a little slow, she moved really slow. She was moving really slow. And I was kind of in a hurry and I was, talking to myself, you need to be patient because one day you're gonna be her age. Um, and I'm never impatient with older people, but I, I was just in a hurry, I was just feeling a little anxious. And then I was like, I wonder should I ask her that she needed any help? And I waited a few more, I waited a few minutes and I saw that she was having, like she was having trouble picking up the pack of chicken to put it on the conveyor belt. And I said, would you like some help? And she said, that'd be nice. And so I scooted between the buggy and scooted the buggy over a little bit, the buggy and the conveyor belt, because she was on the opposite side of the basket. And so I started putting stuff on a conveyor belt for her. And she said, do you see any milk in there? <laughs> I said, no ma'am, there's, there's no milk in here. She said, oh Lord, that's what I came to the grocery store for. You gonna, can you go back there and get me some milk? I, I said, the, the milk is all the way in the back of the store. And I was thinking, <clears throat> and I was thinking, I was hoping she said, well, I'll just wait. But she said, well, no, I'll go get it. I said, no, no, no. Cause I immediately thought, this lady leave this line to go get that milk. It's gonna be half an hour before she get back to the front of the store. <laughs> so I said, no, no ma'am, I'll go get it. If you'll watch my buggy, please. She said, okay. When I tell you I ran, cause I've been running. I've been running, okay? Getting prepared for this, this 5K. I ran all the way from the, uh, the from the checkout. I was at the checkout register to the back of the grocery store to get her milk. I didn't ask her. I just got regular organic <laughs> organic milk. Um, I ran halfway back, then I walked the rest of the way because I was tired. Okay, I came all the way back with the um, milk. I set it there. Then I just took all the all of her other stuff out of the. Um, cart and put it on there. Then the lady said that'll be, um, I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like a hundred, hundred and nine dollars, 200, dollars. Then she said, well, I have a card. I guess it was a, um, gift card and she didn't know how to put the gift card in there. And I was thinking now who, who let their mother or their grandma come to the grocery store by herself? Maybe they just don't know. Check on your, check on your elderly parents and your aunties. Um, anyway she didn't know how to put the card in there and I didn't you know that wasn't my business so the cashier came around and swiped the card for her and went back around and she said that that'll be 200 and I think it was 219 dollars and she told her it was oh, ma'am you only have 208 dollars on the card um the lady walked over to the other side of the buggy and said I, I can put the before she even got the rest of the sentence out of her mouth, I said, I got it, I got it, I got it. And I promise you I'm not saying this to break. I, I got it. Because all I can think about is, that could be me, that could be my mama, that could be my auntie, and I pray to God, I would hope that if I got my groceries and I didn't have enough money, someone would be kind enough to give me the rest of the money. And all I can think about is, she don't, she don't have enough money to buy the rest of the groceries. She don't have no gas. I, did, I, I started getting worried about the lady. But anyway, I got it. So I paid for it. Um, and she thanked me. Prefer, per, <laughs> 
and she thanked me profusely, of course. Um, but all I could think about is how blessed I am on my way home, how blessed I am that I'm at a time in my life where that's not, and I'm not rich by any stretch of the imagination when it, monetarily. Let me just say, I am rich in blessings in abundance and love in abundance. But I, I, I'm, I'm not at a place where I have to worry about how much money is on a card when I go to the grocery store. I'm able to go to the grocery store and get what I need and not worry if I have enough money in the bank to pay for my groceries. And that, that is one of life's um, blessings that we don't often think about. That was that story. I just I just wanted to talk to y'all about it and tell y'all about it. And if hopefully if you were ever in the store, I'm sure most people would though. If there was someone in front of them and they were they were short some money at the grocery store or whatever, um, and it was you know nine dollars essentially is what it cost me, um, that they would be willing to help that person out. I just I think about that lady. Um, Anyway, and I'm just blessed that I'm not at that place, just at that place. And pray to God, my mother's never there. And no one that I know or just uh, just anyone, period. That's, that's not a great position to be in. But I have been there. Oh, let's be clear. I have been there. I have been there. Let me just say that. As an, as an adult, I'm swimming now. I started nursing school when I was 22, 22 to 26. Prior to... Prior to and during nursing school, I was there. Yeah, yeah. After nursing school, I ain't been there. Thank God. Anyway, that was that was that that was experience number one. And then I, I went on and do everything I had to do. Then I went to the drugstore to get <laughs> to get my meds. I had some meds. I had to pick them up at the grocery at the drugstore. And this this story is about growth. When I say growth, I'm talking about growth in a phenomenal way. I'm talking about growth in the old me and the new me. And, it, and I was thinking about people who don't, who've not been a part of my life, probably since my mid-30s, who knew me in my teens and my early 20s, don't know me. I'm a whole new person. So I was, I'm, I'm just, it just... I'm in line at the drugstore, minding my business. I got the, I'm just minding my business, waiting. The lady, there's an elderly lady in front of me again. And there's a gentleman at the counter in front of her. And he had just, uh, par apparently just arrived at the counter. And he was, he was talking to the, the pharmacist or whomever. It was taking a minute for him to get his um, stuff situated. And so he was up there and we were just standing there. I was just being patient. Um, and the lady in line in front of me decided she was gonna get out of line and go get whatever she needed. So she just walked off. She just walked off and I stepped up, like all of us do. We step up, I moved up in line. And it still took the man, he was up there for a minute. I probably was in line a good 20 minutes. About 10 minutes, <laughs> about 10 minutes goes by and the lady that had just got out of line, that had not just got out of line, probably about 10 minutes went by. They had gotten out of line, went and picked something up on the shelf, came back, walked back. She walked back in like this, looked at me, walked and got right back in front of me and looked at me and said, this was my spot. I took a deep breath and I said, yes, ma'am. 25 year old Angela, was jumping up and down. She was jumping up and down screaming. She was jumping up and down screaming. And I just, and apparently my face was showing all the mix of emotions that my mind was going through. Because the lady behind the counter was looking at me strangely as if I were looking at her I was probably looking in her direction because I didn't want to look in the direction of the lady that was in front of me. Because first of all, I felt like she was being rude. If she had walked off and said, honey, do you mind? I'm going to go get something. Do you mind? No, ma'am. I would have had no problem. No, ma'am. You can come right back. Or if she had walked back up and said, do you mind if I get back in front of you, honey? Or if you might, do you mind if I, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. But she felt entitled to that physical spot. Move your feet, lose your seat is what I was taught in school. <laughs> and she, 
She didn't say thank you. She didn't say excuse me. N zero manners. And I don't understand how you can be, that woman's old enough to be my mother for sure. Not my grandmother, but she was definitely old enough to be my mother. And um, I, I was proud of myself. I called my husband as soon as I got in the car. And I, I talked about it and vented somewhat. <laughs> uh, but the fact that I was, I've never been disrespectful to older people. The fact that I held my tongue, did not even, didn't say anything other than yes, ma'am. I was proud of myself. That, that level of growth from where 25 year old Angela was to 53 year old Angela, I was proud of myself. Very, very proud of myself. I would never have been disrespectful uh, but I might have, yeah, for sure, I would have said something. I would have said, excuse me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what I would have said, but I know for certain I would have said something. Um, that's what's been happening to me lately. The next thing that has been going on with me is you all know I moved, I'm, I'm completely moved in. I think I have four more boxes that I need to unpack and put items up. Other than that, I will be done, thank you goodness and i love this house the layout is so much more functional for us as a family i had i had my own space um my office space in the other house but now i have my own space that's separate from the um rest of the house which i really really like so it's upstairs and i like this space so much better i have a, a room <laughs> a room that is my the whole room is my closet and has most of my clothes but still not all of them in there so it's easy for me to function and create looks now. I have a mirror in there and I'm able to, it looks like a little mini closet. I go in there and everything is hanging where I can see it, which is really, really nice. So it functions so much better than having all my clothes in different closets and some in some room um, and some in others. So I'm very, very pleased with that. And now I live across the street from Shadi. Instead of here, she lives right there, right there. And in there over here, six days a week, somebody is out that house. That big and that big and um, the thirteen year old. It's the one that we call him the big and and the seven year old is the little. One. The big and is over here eating on a regular. Even though his mama got food, he eats that food and come over here and eats our food too. We we expected that. The next thing that happened that's been going on with me. Oh Lord have mercy. So the little one, the seven year old, I volunteer at his school for the field trips and the last thing I did was I went and read to the class, not just to his class, but I read, I think it was a total of four classes, um, four second grade classes. And there were, it was a group of us from the Y and everybody had different grade levels. And I wanted um, Micah's grade level because I wanted to read to his class. So I got to read to four different classes. It was really, it was a lot of fun reading to those little children. Um, but then I messed around and volunteered to go with them on a field trip to the Arbor Arboretum. And if you don't know what that is, it's a fancy name for a, a giant botanical garden. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was really, there's, there's, it's, it's in Dallas down. I don't know if it's, it's not downtown Dallas, but it's in Dallas. Um, and they have a whole section just for children. Um, it's named after, I can't remember the name. I'll, I'll show you a picture of it, but there's a whole section there just for children. It is stunning. They have this, actually there are two giant tree houses with bridges that go to them and they have steps that spiral, spiral around the trunk of the tree. And they gave, everybody had, every uh, chaperone had their own little group of kids. And uh, yeah, I, I think the teacher chose my children just for me. Y'all know what I mean? Um, I had my grandson and I had another little boy. I'm not gonna tell you his name. There, I had two boys, a little girl who had gotten sick and she went home. But I had my grandson and the other two little boys. <sighs> when I tell you, <laughs> I was there. I had to get there at nine o'clock. They didn't get there until after 10. So I was sitting there um, waiting, which was really nice. It was beautiful just sitting outside on the bench waiting for them to get there. And I didn't leave until 2.30. With them seven and eight year old, three, uh, Micah's seven, one of the other little, little boys was seven and the other one was eight. But he was eight, but he was like this tall. Micah's this tall, he's seven, he was eight. 
when I tell you them kids wore me out. When I tell you them kids wore me out and then the sun came out. So it was a sun was beating down on me. And my sense of direction is horrible. I had a map. I had a map of the entire children's section of the park and it is completely separated from the rest of the Arboretum. I think I'm saying that right. It's completely separate from the rest. So you can't even, there are fences and walls, like you, it, they're separate, which is really nice. So the, you have to go in and you have to pay your ticket. Yeah, I had to pay. You have to pay for your ticket and you go in with your chaperone. So it's really safe and it's be, it is beautiful. You can tell it is really designed and created for children. There are lots of plants and flowering trees and blackberry bushes and blueberry bushes and stuff for them to crawl on and crawl through and, and crawl over and stuff for them not to crawl on that I had to, hey, 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 get off, <laughs> get down from there. And uh, they had these water features, that these turbine things that they were, um, a whole section of different types of turbines, wind turbines and water turbines, which I, which I thought was fascinating. I promise you my husband would love that. It's in the <laughs> children's section though. My husband would love that portion of of um, the park, but it was it was it was beautiful. It was just beautiful. But I got lost. I had to stop and ask people, "How do you get back to the front? How do I get how do I get back to the front?" I, don't know. I, I got the map in my hand. Couldn't figure it out. My sense of direction is terrible. The kids wore me out. They wore me out. I think I'm gonna have to make a request the next thing. I just have two. I start off with four. I can handle three though. I can handle three. I can handle three. Four, four would have been a bit too much. The, the extra child would have been a bit much. But um, I enjoyed myself. It is. If you live anywhere near Dallas, you should, you should, you should go. It is. It is stunning. It's so peaceful. It is just so peaceful. And it's so now. I felt like the the entry fee was a bit much. I think I paid twenty five dollars. But it was. So Spotless. There wasn't a piece of trash anywhere. It, everything was neat. It was clean. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of being in Singapore. Singapore is clean like that. It was spotless. I mean, the shrubs, the, the mulch, every, the sidewalks. It was beautiful. I want to go back again. I, my husband and I will go, not to the children's section. <laughs> we'll go to the other section again. It was just, I really want to. It was just stunning. It was beautiful. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah. My surgery is the day after Mother's Day. So I'm having my rotator cuff, rotate. <clears throat> I'm having my rotator cuff surgery on the 13th. It's been bothering me since July of last year. It is not getting better. Um, the physician that's doing my surgery is not the physician that I, I saw at first. Um, I get someone, I'm not going to say who, someone told me you, you want him to do your surgery if you're going to do it. That's all I can say because without giving away who told me. But anyway, um, so I asked for a second opinion and I saw him and I've been a nurse for 28 years. After being in the room with him, first of all, he walked in the room. I'm in Texas, so this is normal because he had cowboy boots on. But he had ostrich skin cowboy boots on and scrubs. I was like, you better, you, okay, okay. His bedside manner was excellent. I like someone, my physicians and my nursing staff, my medical team, to, to don't, don't beat around the bush with me. Don't, don't sugarcoat anything. I need for you to straight up tell me the fact, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, and that's how he was. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see why you were recommended. And he said, yeah, I'm going to do your surgery. And he explained to me what he's going to do. He's going to, there are going to be four holes. He's going to go in. He's going to fix the rotator, rotator cuff tear. Um, there are some calcium deposits. He's going to have to scrape that off. Whatever else is done. And he said, I will be in a sling for a minimum of 30 days that I can take off while I'm at home. But I will wear for a month, for the full month when I'm in the car. My mother is coming in on, I'm flying to North Carolina to attend one of my niece's graduation. She's graduating from college, from my alma mater. <laughs> and um, her graduation is on Saturday, then the after party, and then the Sunday is Mother's Day, and my mother and I will be flying back on Mother's Day morning. And while we're flying in, my husband will be driving um, back to work. So my mother's gonna be here all week. My daughter's gonna take that Monday off 
Um, because I don't know if my mother is familiar. She's not. I don't know if she's familiar with driving on all these bridges in Dallas or not. So Shadi is going to take that a Monday off the day of my surgery, and it's going to be outpatient. And so, and then Mama, Mama will be here the rest of the week until the following Wednesday. So if nothing else, my house is going to be spotless. When I tell you my mama's house is spotless and always has been, we had to get up on Saturday morning, clean up. Y'all, we're the same generation. I know y'all had to get up on Saturday morning, clean up too, but to get up on Saturday morning and clean up. So she's going to be cleaning the whole time she is. Not that my house is not clean, but it won't be my mama clean. She's going to be clean and I'm going to have some good pinto beans. I'm going to have some good macaroni and cheese, some good potato salad. I want her to make me some sweet potato pies. Not just make me some. I need some. I need you to make me three or four to freeze, put in the freezer when you leave. Um, yeah, I'm going to make sure I have all the all the food that she needs to cook all my food while I'm here. I'm not going to really do anything. I, may, I, I will make a video and say hey to y'all, tell y'all how I'm doing. Um, maybe say hey to mama if she wants to. Um, that's about it. That's That's about everything that's going on with me. That's it. I have a lot of collabs, which is fantastic. I think that's it. Okay. Well, that is it, family. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, I will leave a link to this amazing <laughs> Amaze Fit Bip 5 watch in the description box and as the very first pinned comment. So you can get it if you like. It's definitely, don't forget, it's under $100. It will make a great Mother's Day gift. If you have a mother that wants a smart watch, that is affordable, that's not going to break the bank. Now, no matter where you are in the world, know that I love you, know that I appreciate you, and know that I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.